Well, not only is Jordan Brand joining into the Air Max fun itself this month of March, but I'm also going to try something a little bit different here as well, mainly because I had one of those uh, sneaker YouTube snafus, and all creators go through this where something doesn't go right and you don't realize that until editing but we get a do-over we're gonna try some different things different angles and talk about the newest jordan up for release the air jordan 4 neon which is paying homage to the og air max 95 neon <laughs> What's up everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video, Talks with TJ, AKA TJ2 Swoosh Chains. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in to this video. Uh, if you were brand new, I don't say this enough anymore, go ahead, hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. If you're one of those people already subscribed, I thank you so much. Let's go ahead and rock with each other in the comment section. You know I love getting back to you as much as possible. And with a lot of us having downtime right now, I promise I'll do my due diligence to get back to you. So we know that a lot of different sneaker releases have been moved around and that's in big part due to everything going on in the world right now hopefully you all are staying safe and just being aware of how things are changing that does have an effect on sneaker releases but it just simply means most of them will move to an online only or e-commerce way of shopping versus you being able to physically reserve or go into a sneaker store or a retailer to pick up that shoe and i think that will take place for the sneaker that is releasing this saturday i am talking about the Air Jordan 4 Neon. Now, this has received mixed reviews, and I'll be able to show you guys on foot looks thanks to uh, PR underscore Sneaks 23 and then also DS Dan. I'll make sure to link both of them below, and you'll see that they are credited in this video for their on foot look. But this sneaker itself, now, it's paying homage to the Air Max 95. I do think Jordan Brand wanted to join into the mix of Air Max Day and Air Max Month because no other brand really captivates an entire month almost or even a day i mean new balance does have gray day that a lot of new balance enthusiasts will celebrate but air max day i just feel like it resonates and it goes all the way back to me with my love of the air max one and then when it comes to a lot of the other silhouettes there are still things um, aspects little nuances about them i respect and appreciate when it comes to the 95 it is associated i think the most with that neon colorway every single sneaker will usually have a colorway that you think of automatically like the bread for the one so the flint for the 13 for the air max 95 i think it really does have to do with that neon colorway now when it first came out, I mean, you can know, <laughs> 1995, when it first came out, um, it was actually the very first sneaker we had that uh, gave us a visible air bubble in the forefront of the foot. We had always seen it in the back, but never really in the forefront. So there we go. Nike always trying something innovative and different. And it just kind of went from there. But that colorway is so iconic with the gradient of gray that goes all the way down. So it's like almost white, super light, and it just slowly gets darker. And then it had a black midsole which was different which was weird right who would have a black midsole and then actual black sole so i know so many of us remember that shoe and a lot of you have it i just simply don't have it so i'm being extra right now with the nike training top that i'm wearing to represent the neon being talked about today in the video but that is a shoe an air max that so many know and now jordan brand wanted to really say hey we can get involved in this too so they chose the air jordan 4 silhouette now i think this is an interesting choice because their use of material they decided to use suede for almost the entire upper of this shoe even down to the fact that the midsole is wrapped in suede too I don't 100% think I'm a big fan of that now cause did this too when they did a collaboration with air jordan and with the air jordan 4 and it looks well like it looks well it ages well aesthetically but with this one i just i do have a concern that how beat up how much wear and tear is it going to show on that midsole because there's suede there it's not just leather it's actual suede and that suede does actually hinder the visibility of the air unit there it goes from being like this big of an air unit to like that big of an air unit so it will take a toll there um for the rest of the shoe there is the reflective 3m on the back heel tab so just be aware of that and then the tongue is split to really mimic the air max logo because if you're aware of the air max logo it does have for the 95 it's like black and, and gray and then it has the neon accents 
And the box itself, so Jordan Brown has been doing a really nice job with giving uh, specialty boxes. So you had a different box for the Air Jordan 3, for the um, Air Jordan 3 Unite or Chicago, sorry. And then the Air Jordan 3 UNC, you had a different type of box. And now you also have a different box for the Air Jordan 4 Neon. In relation to how widely available it would have been in stores, um, I don't think this is one that would have been like, even though it's a full family size run because it is available from men's all the way down to infant, I don't know that it would have been some massive GR though, kind of like the Air Jordan 3 Unite was. So that's just my personal thought. Um, when it comes to the price point, however, wow, like I don't understand why there's this high price point of 225 for men. It's not that special that it should cost 225 and the funniest reaction I saw to this is actually Chris um, for wear testers. He was not a fan of the price at all. And I just, I feel bad for you guys. If you're going to buy this shoe because you really love it and you like it, sorry, you're going to pay 225 plus tax unless you have like a coupon or something of that nature. But it is rather expensive for men. I just, I don't think I would have tag that with 225. Now for grade school, you will remain at the traditional 140, preschool 80 and infant and toddler are, you know, those, those are $60. So the remaining price points don't change, but man, that men's price does. And I'm terribly sorry for you. Would I pick this shoe up? It would have to be a pass for me. And I just say, because just, I don't know, just something about the entire upper. It's like you, you respect the effort, but it's not enough where I feel like it's a must have for me. And so it's definitely going to be a pass. Now for you, take the chance to really look over all of the B-roll being shown here. And maybe that will give you a better understanding. There are a lot of people already that have this shoe in hand. They've done it on foot look for you. So make sure that you check them out too, especially if they are one of your favorite creators. We all have downtime now, so make sure that you are catching up on the content in the videos for any creator that's putting in that time and effort for you right now. So please make sure that you sound off in the comment section. Do you plan to still go after this, even though it won't be an in-person release because <laughs> retailers are not open. Uh, I hope that you are weathering this very unique turn of events uh, well. So please stay safe, please, uh, for the betterment of everybody, okay? Stay inside, do what you can entertain yourself be productive as always act your age and your shoe size thanks for watching peace out